Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lim Ji Jin here. I will teach you ENT324 Digital Signal Processing in Biomedical Application for this semester, which is semester 1, 2020-2021. And due to the COVID-19 is increasing recently, so most of the classes we will carry out online. So you will see me through the video and also some online classes. So for today, due to you cannot come back to Unimap, so we meet on video. So this is your misplaced Unimap. So I'm waiting for you to come back to Unimap. It's possible. Okay, for this subject, I will be your course coordinator and our teaching engineer is Dr. Chong Yen Fo and Mr. Lee Hoi Leong. Okay. This, this subject is a new offering subject and which replaced the previous subject medical signal processing ENT315. Okay, for this subject, for this semester, we will have the class on every Tuesday, 2 to 4 p.m. through online, synchronized. Synchronized, which means that you will see me through the we uh, through the uh, online platform like Google Meet, Zoom, or etc. Uh, platform. Another one is Monday, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m., where you will meet me online asynchronous. Okay, online asynchronous, which means is you will meet me through video or any material system that I upload through the Google Classroom. Then we will have a lab sections and we will have four lab sections, group one, group two, group three and four. This is the time for each group. So all the lab will carry out online. So you can choose any group that you like and fit to that group and attend it on time and through online. Because our lab will do online, so you have to install MATLAB uh, find your installer. If you cannot find your installer, you can let me know. I will upload the installer in Google Classroom or Google uh, Drive for you to download. And our lab will be start on week number four. So on week number four, before week number four, one week before, on week three, I will upload the lab modules and the lab mm, video for you to do the lab. And you must finish the lab before you attend for the lab sections. And during the lab section, you just have to demo your coding that have been done. And we will have a individual demo sections and YY section for each student. And during the day, we will have some explanation also. Okay, so for your, this is my email, ccrmalliasunimap.edu.my. So anything, you can contact me through email or through my WhatsApp phone call that you have my phone number, right? Okay, so this is our lab location. If in future, you can attend physically, so you can attend physically in Unimap, which is Biomedical Research Lab, Research Project Lab. But now, um, so we are online first, okay? Okay, this subject is basically provide the introductions on different type of signals and system, where I explain the biomedical applications in different type of transform domain and different type of signals. And this course also cover the DFT, digital, eh, discrete Fourier transform, fast Fourier transform to analyze the biomedical signals. And this course also cover the filter where you have to design two type of filter, FIR filter and IIR filter. And at the end of this course, you are able to apply those techniques of the digital signal policy in the biomedical applications. And also you will study about the biomedical signal processing processor, 
and we will also learn about the data processing software and we will use in lab sections and we also will learn the programming language in apply in some other engineering tasks okay course outcome at the end of this subject this course you will able to analyze the biomedical signal using different type of transform domain okay then co2 you were able to analysis and propose the type of transform domain algorithm for the biomedical signal applications okay for co3 you were able to select and design the suitable digital filter for processing the biomedical signal so which means that uh, through through this subject at the end when i give you a medical signal for example your heart sound heart signal you will able to uh, choose a suitable transform domain method to to process your ecg signal and to take out the information from the ecg signals and we also filter up the noise for example when you are recording the ecg signal have people talking beside and you learn how the suitable filter you design the suitable filter to filter off that nose noise okay for the assessment yeah because of covid 19 we have to do the continual assessment 100 for this subject okay so we will have test one 10 percent okay this one is where we carry on on around week uh, around week five or week six for quiz one and we will have quiz okay we will have two quiz and this quiz will carry out along the class okay we will have two assignment 10 percent and we have three lab 10 percent and we will have test two 20 percent and we will also have an open book exam okay this open book exam is 40 percent now we are go through our experiment which means it's our lab we have three lab first lab is introduction for the biomedical signal and the signal characteristics second lab we will learn about the transform algorithm third lab you will learn about the digital filter for the biomedical signal okay so so for the course material you can refer these three books which is useful for you for you refer to this subject okay teaching plan okay for this subject now is week one today is uh 19 okay 19 october is start for your week one you'll learn about chapter one three hour lecture so i will upload one hour around uh, video for you okay you will go through the video and also two hour um, synchronized classes okay this one is c6 evolution the complexity level so which means the question will be up to c6 level you have to evaluate okay for week two we will continue with chapter two dft and we will also have a tutorial one based on chapter one okay then for week three we will continue dft also and I provide you assignment one for week four okay we will have uh fft and we will also have a quiz one which cover chapter one and chapter two then after that week five fft we will have lab one and this lab one will cover chapter one and chapter two so for week six we will have tutorial two we cover dft and ft Okay, week seven, we will have uh, chapter four, IIR filter. Okay, so where we will have test one. So this test one will cover chapter one, two, three. Okay, for uh, week eight, we will have IIR filter, infinity impulse response filter. So um, then we will, at the same time, we will have uh yeah nothing okay uh, then we will have a mid-sem break after that 
uh, week 10, we will have a digital filter. Okay, continue with RR filter. Okay, so then we will have test two. Okay, this test two will cover up to chapter four. Okay, chapter four, part B. Part B, yeah. Okay, then after that, we will have uh, chapter four, IRR filter continuous. Then we will have lab two. And this lab two, we will cover chapter two and chapter three. Okay, then we will have week 12, IFIR filter. Okay, this R filter. Okay, then we will have a tutorial tree where cover IRR filter and FIR filter. Yeah. Then we will have week 13, okay, chapter five where is FIR filter also. And at the same time, we will have lab three. And this lab three, it will cover uh, chapter four and chapter five. So which means you will learn about FIR filter and IRR filter and on that lab. Okay, then week 14, we will have realizations for assignment two and quiz two. And then we will have assignment two and quiz two, okay. Then last chapter seven, biomedical application in DSP. Then we will have an open book exam. Yeah. So da da, your subject is finished. Happy. <laughs> so total for this subject is a three credit hour subject compared to previous. Previous is four credits. Four credit hour is E N T three one five. So this one is your lecture time with 17 hours. So your lab, you will have three lab, each lab two hours, so six, six hours. Your tutorial is 13.5 hours because we have three tutorial and at the same time we have will we will have discussion classes. Then we will have open book that exam. And then that's one and that's two. So this one you have to spend around 79.5 hours for this subject in order for you to score a good grade okay okay now we will go to uh, this course outcome and assessment okay basically we will have three course outcome okay three course outcome so each course outcome will have the exam question to be asked okay it's from quiz from test and from assignment for the co1 and also lab okay for the co2 we will have the question from the exam quiz assignment and test two and lab for co3 we will have open book open book exam and quiz two assignment two and lab three so all co will be covered in all the assessment so this study yeah Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. This is the uh, introduction for this subject. So please register the correct code ENT324. Don't go to register ENT315 if you are not the past year student. Okay, thank you. Bye.